people who are vulnerable, who've been exploited and tortured, and we're yes, turning them away. That is absolutely revolting. Refugees don't have the luxury of choosing, you know, which country to go to. I don't think the Tories have anything to go on the next election with. All that they can do is divide us. I came as a former refugee to express my concern and to remind people that this country is a country of compassion, love, and protect the vulnerable. The spill has got to be stopped and scrapped immediately. It's inhumane and it's Stop not fit for what the UK stands for. Stop it's disgusting. It doesn't make any sense. Like these are people that are running away from war. Like you know, they're, go they're going to try any any means possible. If you think about what's involved in crossing in those boats, it's not. You know, can, can you imagine choosing that? Can you imagine what circumstances would make you choose that? Right? It's not a... I don't think this is going to work. It's just going to create more problems. So I fucking hate the establishment, the fucking bastards, the racist, the whole, this whole country is based, just built upon the crown, the monarchy, everything is just dripped in blood and they've never said anything about it. They will never say anything about it because they're too proud. They think that we have the most diverse cabinet. They've installed the most right wing at the same time. I think it's an absolute disgrace. This is taking away these people's human rights. It's not simply just deterring illegal migration, but it's taking away their human rights. It breaks the European Convention on Human Rights, something we should be proud of. The only two countries in Europe which aren't a part of that, Russia and Belarus. Do we really want to be part of that, that club of countries right now? I don't think so. The big line at the moment is we should leave the ECHR. Would you agree with that? I completely disagree. Like I said, Russia and Belarus are the only countries which aren't part of that club. I think it's disgraceful to think we should join them with the Ukraine war that's going on. It fundamentally protects our rights. I don't see why we would benefit. We were told in 2016 that we would take control of our borders. Clearly we haven't, otherwise they wouldn't be discussing what they are in there right now. And they already passed the migration bill last year. So clearly that hasn't worked, so why would it work now? And just a couple of weeks ago, we agreed the Windsor framework with France. Why would we leave the European Convention on Human Rights after doing that and agreeing the Windsor framework with Europe? If we're trying to come closer together, why get wider apart? I think it's not a new illegal immigration bill, but it's actually a refugee ban bill. And I came as a former refugee to express my concern and to remind people that this country is a country of compassion, love, and protect the vulnerable. Can I ask where you were a refugee from? The DRC, the Democratic Republic of Congo. And I've come to the UK 20 years ago. Actually, over 20 years ago. You made a life here? Yes, I have been able to not only rebuild my life, and also, you know, being able to contribute. And I think that when people are sending the wrong messages about refugee, that refugee are economic migrant, I think it's wrong. We know that refugee deserve a chance, a second chance to rebuild their life and also being able to give back, you know. I was helped by this organization called Freedom from Torture and I've been empowered to raise my voice and I'm able also to help other people who are going through the same thing that I've experienced. I was actually visiting ben, Big Ben over there and I happened to see the signs and I was interested and I'm glad I stopped because it's, it's very impactful, something that's very important. Would you expect this from the UK, that we were having such a problem with allowing refugees to come into the country? A little bit, um, just because I keep up with the news a little bit, but not as much as I am now learning that it is. They have always tried to control everything, and yet now they want to do nothing to help everybody else after the impact that they have made themselves on everybody else. I think is just a distraction from how this this government has failed the people and I feel like they've I guess it's worked so many times to them before and they feel like they need a way out and this is what they've chosen but I don't think this is going to stop those votes first of all there's there, there aren't really any um, like processes in place that allow for people to come by other means and secondly, if you're running away from violence or war, do you really have time and opportunity to make use of those routes? If you look at, if you look at the situation that they're trying to improve, it doesn't make sense that they would prevent people from using any means possible. 
So I don't, I, I think the, uh, the rationale behind it is completely off. I think it's a culture war. Likes being set up there right now. I don't think the Tories have anything to go on the next election with. All that they can do is divide us and migration, unfortunately, like in the referendum and like in 2008, it's exactly what they did then and they're trying to do it again now because their governing record is rubbish. What would, if you ask anyone here or anyone in this city, if, uh, if they think their lives are better off than they were 13 years ago, when the Tory government came into power, I think the answer would be no. People don't have a choice. You know, when I was coming, I could have gone to a country like, you know, Belgium, France, because I didn't speak English. But the people would take the first opportunity. No. The refugees don't have the luxury of choosing, you know, which country to go to. And sometimes people would choose to come to a certain country because they have family connection. In my case, I didn't. But I think if I had a choice, it wasn't going to be Britain. And I'm so grateful I'm here because I love this country. This is my home. It's my country now. So for a long time, people have said the wrong thing, the wrong fact about refugee. I will said it's not true. Where does she get her figures from? What makes her think that we're that popular? I mean, that's ridiculous. And where would she, would she be here without if she, her, her ancestors had been turned away? I mean, it's just beyond belief what is happening in this country. We are not a tolerant, kind, welcoming nation anymore. And I just think it's revolting. I just, I can't express how disgusted I am. Would you say that it was British to turn away refugees? No, I wouldn't. I think it's exactly the antithesis of being British. I mean, being British should be being embracing and compassionate and understanding to people who are vulnerable, for goodness sake. So even the safe and legal routes, they don't work. And um, my MP, Grant Shapps, he's taken in a Ukrainian refugee, I think. But the sheer hypocrisy to say that we're happy to take in some refugees and just not others, this picking and choosing, this cherry picking, I think it's disgraceful. And especially for Grant Shapps, the idea that he can take in a refugee and then go there tonight and vote to take away their rights and vote to detain them, to detain them after 28 days with no reason, no cause, it's absolutely disgraceful. The idea that we're penalising the refugees and not the human traffickers, what the people in there who are backing this bill like to say a lot is that the human traffickers are terrible and they talk about lefty lawyers on the side of the human traffickers but this bill does absolutely nothing to penalise the human traffickers. Nothing at all. It penalises the migrants, the refugees, the asylum seekers and I think that's a disgrace. When you're denying somebody a safe place to live, it's basically saying, oh well, we don't want you here, you can go die. You, we don't want your life, your life is not valuable to us just because we're in a different country. We're all people at the end of the day. It doesn't matter. I think that politicians should be actually helping us to have better laws. No law that divides people, no law that are contributing and destroying people's life. We need to have law. Yes, we have policies that are deal with the immigration and asylum system in the right manners without affecting the life of vulnerable people and use your position as an MP to promote good value and you know good policies rather than destroying people's life. You have a duty to make sure that you represent the value of many people and I see that what we see here today I am so humble that many people, British people, are actually saying that refugees are welcome. So what I would ask them is to represent the view of the many people who are here and not do otherwise. I don't think that uh, people crossing in small boats are preventing me from getting on the housing ladder. Uh, I don't think that they're preventing me from getting a GP appointment on time. Like those are, those are issues that aren't going to go away because you know 45,000 people don't cross uh, cross the channel. Like there, there's actual issues that the government needs to deal with, and this is just a scapegoat for uh, for them really. Like just stop it. Like you have your career now. You you get you're getting your money. Just just sit down and don't say anything. This is not it. This is not going to work. The language is changing and I'm worrying that with the recent thing that we've been seeing, the attack on refugee, it's just going to really make people feeling unsafe because people are worrying that they will be attacked. You know, obviously we do have a lot of people who are attacking the hostel and then we are wondering, you know, whether one day People in this country are going to say, we don't want you anymore. But I'm comforted in knowing that the majority of people I've met in this country want to welcome a refugee. And 
do represent the value of compassion and love. I know the government can do better. I'm a survivor champion for the UK government and I've seen how the UK is really leading by example in addressing the issue of sexual violence and telling other country how to treat survival and have a survival centered approach. So I know the government can do better, but I don't know why on the other side of the government we have people who are saying the wrong message. So for me, the government can do better and the government knows that the majority of people wants people to be helped and welcome in this country. To be honest, Labour's been very disappointing under Keir Starmer in general. I mean, they don't seem to be willing to, to commit to anything that seems remotely controversial. And I think because immigration was a big part of uh, the whole Brexit conversation, I, I, I think the assumption in, in politics is that you know, most people are in favour of less immigration. And I think they've chosen, they're choosing to do the safe thing, according to them anyway, to, by not um, being too vocal about this.